Hey everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Today, I'm doing a quick PSA reveal for some Patreons who submitted cards through me at no additional cost. That's right. If you're a Patreon, you can submit cards through me at no additional cost. Whatever the grading cost is that PSA is charging, that's what I charge. I handle all of the paperwork. I handle all of the shipping to and from PSA. I handle it all and it is at cost to you. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to check out my Patreon group. There is a link in the description below. Would love to submit some cards on your behalf at cost as well. And while we're at it, throw over to first and hit that like button for me. It's the best way you can support the channel. Subscribe, do all the stuff. You know what to do. Without further ado, like I said, it's going to be a pretty quick PSA reveal today. Uh, I believe we have four cards. They were submitted by three different Patreons. And we'll start with the three card. These took about a month. This was at the $50 level, which I think it's come down since then. Uh, but we submitted these at the $50 level. It took about a month door to door. So let's see. We're going to start with the Christian Hernandez. Let's get one of these boxes off of here. We're going to start with a Christian Hernandez. And this is a 2021 Bowman Chrome Sapphire Orange Christian Hernandez number 20 out of 75. So the orange parallel 2021 Bowman Chrome Sapphire Christian Hernandez. Big card right here. And it comes in at a mint nine. So we don't get the 10, but even at a nine, this card gonna hold some pretty decent value. One of the bigger prospects in the Cubs organization. So Victor, congrats on that one. Victor's next card is a sweet one. A 2020. Bowman Chrome from a Mega Box. This is the Mega Box Refractor Anthony Volpe Auto. Volpe, obviously one of the top prospects in the minors right now. So a big one right here. We've got the 2020 Bowman Chrome Anthony Volpe Mega Box autograph comes in at a gem mint 10. So bingo for Victor right there. Beautiful card. Perfectly centered. Just a banger of a card right there. Congrats on that one, Victor. Now for our next one, it's going to be for Robert. Now he hit this card in a break of mine when we broke Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary. This is 2021, but the set just came out a few months ago. And this is a beautiful Cabrian Hayes. I'm going to forget what the parallel of this is. But as you can see, just a sick Cabrian Hayes rookie auto on card. So let's see what we get. It's the 70th anniversary platinum wave. That's what they call this parallel. That's why I forgot what it was called. But let's see what we get. The Cabrian Hayes rookie from 2021. Tops Chrome platinum anniversary. Bingo, another 10. Robert, congrats on that one. Just a nice Cabrian Hayes coming in at the 10. Plus it is the platinum wave. I believe it, yeah, it is numbered. It is numbered to 70, 67 out of 70. So a beautiful, beautiful 70th anniversary one right there. The Volpe, by the way, just wanted to check. That one is not numbered. It is a base. Okay, so this next card, I wanted to save this one for last because I know what it is. It's the hottest guy in the hobby. His name's J-Rod. Or as they call him, or as his mom and dad call him, Julio Rodriguez. And it is the short print from Topps Series 2. And for whatever reason, they actually put a wrapper on this one. So, already an iconic card. The Julio Rodriguez short print. This one is for Brad D. So, Brad submitted this one. Very nice looking Julio Rodriguez. Let's see what we get. The short print. Everyone knows this card. We get the Topps Chrome SP Julio Rodriguez comes in at a mint nine. So as we look at this card, 
the mint nine versus the mint 10. This card gems fairly, I, I don't want to say fairly easily, but it's, it's been gemming at a pretty decent rate. So they've already seen quite a few of them. And the only thing that I see on this card is maybe it's a little top heavy, but overall, even at a nine, still well into three digits on the value on this card. If he's probably going to end up in the playoffs. So this card still has a ton of potential to go up, even as a nine. As I record this video, I believe he's got 25 home runs and 25 steals on the season already. Going to run away with Rookie of the Year. So just a great time to get this card graded. And even at a nine, it is going to hold great value. So Brad, congrats on that one. So that is the PSA reveal. Guys, remember, if you want me to grade cards on your behalf and put up with all the hassle of sending stuff and getting it over to PSA, paying for all the insurance, I do all of that. All you got to do is be a patron. You can join for as little as $2 a month. There's a link in the video description below. If you haven't done so already, give us a thumbs up for two tens and two nines. And as you're out there in the wild, as I always say, I hope you have good luck finding the packs that you want to rip. And when you rip them, I hope you pull fire. And as always, be good to your family, be good to your friends, be good to your neighbors, and most importantly, take care of yourselves. Stay tuned for more PSA reveal videos coming soon. I want to say thank you guys all for watching and take care.